we're getting a really cool thing from Lewis Howe. I follow him on Facebook. Um, and he just mentioned something I thought was interesting and worth talking about. And then it's simply that January is done and a lot of people have already given up on their goals. Um, I don't know if that first part got caught, but just in case it didn't, I was reading something from Lewis Howes that sort of triggered something for, I thought would be a really important conversation. So like I said, January is done and a lot of people have already given up on their goals. They set them at the beginning of the year. They were hopeful. And yet, depending on where you are, there could be, you know, I'm in full lockdown and you know what? It, it wears on you. I can feel it just fraying my edges. Um, and it's easy in those times to fall back into bad habits or we realize we actually never let them go. So what I'd love to give you guys is a little bit of encouragement on achieving those goals. I did a workshop recently. I'll be doing it again. It's called From Plans to Profits because we usually don't have a problem in setting a goal where the problem lies is working at it every day so that we achieve it. Problem with that is that we often don't know what those things are. So what I'd love for you today um, is to just take one teeny tiny little thing. So if you wanted to get better, say with your health, let's call it your weight, pick one meal and then just, or one snack and just say, I'm going to make that one thing better. And I'm going to try to make it better three days a week. And then maybe next week you're going to say, I'm going to take that one little meal and I'm going to make it a little bit better, a little bit healthier four days a week and then maybe five days a week, and then maybe six days a week. And when you can constantly just kind of look at something and just improve it by 1%, by 1%, by 1%. You know, if you walk your dog and you take him to the park, I had a client of mine who did this. Instead of taking the dog to the park and then just standing there and watching it run around, he walked around the park. And in one week, he lost five pounds. And this is someone where weight has a big impact on his health and he felt so much better. So with goals, the challenge with them is that they're so far in the future. Most of the good things that we want are actually very future based. They're not something that we reward ourselves with right now, which is why it's so hard to stick to good habits because usually the outcomes that we're looking for are way off into the future. So if there's a way for you to take something that you're doing and like a little daily improvement and then give yourself some sort of satisfaction, right? So for instance, something that maybe is not like, it might not be in the day, but it might not also be in December. Here's an example. Let's say for instance, that you wanted to reduce how much social media that you actually did in your day. And of course our phones always track how many hours we're spending. There's lots of information you can get on how many hours or how much time we're online. And say for every day that you limit it to say an hour, so your goal is an hour instead of maybe two hours, you, you know, you're going to be on there, but you want to get it down to an hour. So for every day you do that, you put $5 in a jar, <clears throat> excuse me. So day after day after day, you keep trying and not every day is going to be a success, but you keep putting those five bucks in and you put the five bucks in and you put it in a glass jar so you can actually see it because having a visual cue tells our brains that we're actually accomplishing something. And maybe at the end of the month, or maybe it's two months, or maybe it's three months, you take all that money out of that jar and you buy something just for you. Like I love to read. I read two and a half books this weekend because I love reading that much. Um, and I would love to spend that money on books. And I love, I don't like shopping. I absolutely hate it. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to eat healthier. So while I'd like to spend it on chocolate cake or chocolate chip cookies, um, it's probably not going to accomplish anything for me in terms of my other goals. But I do love to read. And so when you can take a daily habit you're trying to improve. So if you want to improve your finances, say you want to get better. So for me, my goal for my business and for my client's business is improve that bottom line. I don't care how much money you make on that top line, right? Two comma club, knock yourself out. Don't care. What I do care about is how much money you're taking home so you can play with it, have fun with it, invest with it, save with it, right? And feel financially secure. So to do that, you have to track. And so what I do is I pick something I'm trying to get 1% better at in my finances. And so what I can do is I can say, either take that money that I know that I'm saying, and I can put it into my kid's RRSP. Then I'll go and I'll check that and I'll watch it grow. And then maybe my, my celebration for myself at the end of the month is to, if I can go out for dinner, if not have it order in and make it really, really special. 
because that's what that's what I, I grew up going out for dinner we always went out for dinner growing up and uh, to the point where I wasn't exactly entirely sure how to cook when I went out on my own bit of a problem um, <clears throat> but the moral of the story is the smallest of steps is still a step Okay, there's, there's no other way of, of calling it. You don't call a small step anything other than it's still a step. We just put some sort of qualifier at the beginning of it. But a step is a step no matter what. And so if you take a small step today, it may be a bigger step tomorrow. That's great. The point is you're making progress. And if you can say, this is my goal. And then these are the things that if I did these things, even these small, tiny things every single day or as often as I could, then I will achieve that goal. So what you do is you take that goal, you put it away. You're like, there's some cabinets over there and I shut it away. And I'm like, what am I going to do today to make that happen? And so that's what I really wanted to, to let you guys off. And that it, I just felt like doing this video because reading that thing from Lewis Howes, um, you know, he's really connected. He's a really great guy and I have a lot of respect for him. And if he's seeing that, and I've seen other people like Frank Kern talking about fears, um, about how those creep in and how they can really stop us from achieving what we want and fear, but also a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, but a lot of frustration and really feeling almost mad at ourselves that we weren't able to keep going. Why couldn't I keep going? Why couldn't I? you know, not eat that extra piece of pie or pie at all. Why couldn't I just go for that walk? Like, why do I do this to myself? And that's a bigger conversation. But if instead of worrying about the why, think differently and look up at the what. Okay, so when I get really antsy and I'm, I'm upset about something or I'm worried about something, my first thing to do is to say, and what am I going to do about it? And I find even the smallest of thing, whether it's sending an email, making a call, working on a program that I, I want to launch or that I, that's coming up. I just, I take anxiety and I turn it into action, even the smallest little thing. And because every step is a step nonetheless, I feel like I'm making progress and it really makes that anxiety go away. So don't give up on your goals, guys. Don't give up on them. It's not too late to get going. It's only February. You got, I mean, if you look at it, there's always a rolling 12 months. So, so what? Maybe you don't make a calendar year goal. Make your 12 months start today. Start now. If January was a bit of a write-off, we totally get it. The pandemic is still running rampant all over the place and really making our regular routines difficult to maintain. Fine. Screw it. Don't even worry about it. Say February is month number one and make your goal for January 31st of next year. And every day, try to do one small step. Anxiety it really blossoms in the absence of action. So don't give it a chance. Take away that anxiety, take away the despair, take away of the frustration, and that feeling that you have somehow failed and replace it with one teeny tiny little thing that you can do. Because no matter how small, it's still progress. All right, if I can help you in any way, you can go to rebeccascourses.com. I post my uh, my courses, my webinars, my workshops, everything is there. Um, I do have a group coaching program coming up on February the 17th called Success Squared. Really dials into the kind of stuff I'm talking about right now and helps you to remove all of the obstacles from your path. So no matter what you want to achieve, not only are you clear on what you want, but you're also clear on what to do today to make it happen. Have a great day, guys. And remember, don't ever give up on your goals or your dreams because every step, no matter how big or small, is a step nonetheless.